Welcome to the training video session of how to enter APHIS Form 2017s in the portal system. Before we start, I want to give you a showcase of the Center for Veterinary Biologics website. You basically go to your search engine and type Center for Veterinary Biologics. And this is the first hit that you receive for the CVV website. Here, Biologics Regulations and Guidance, I want to showcase that we have Inspection and Compliance Manual. And Chapter 18 provides you with the details of how the internal process of processing these form, these export forms are conducted. So here we have an access to the SOP. This is the entry, secondary review, finalization, and additional export information of some of the processes that we do internally here at the Center for Veterinary Biologics. Okay, without further ado, I want to showcase you also that we have, um, before we do that, I want to show you some of the export guides. Let me go back. We have the regulations and guidance. And we have the NCAH portal guidance. Here is where we have the user guides. And then for the purposes of today, we're going to go through the process of doing APHIS Form 2017s. So, in order to access the portal system, you need to be uh, a user that is authorized on the e-authentication level, level 2. There are other training guidance of how to do this, and for the purposes of this training video are for individuals who have been already assigned this type of authorization. So we go to the CBB and we scroll down to the Biologics Export Certification. We click on Submission Forms. In this particular part, we have the establishments that have been authorized to the user. In this case, we have um, I am authorized to this particular firm, which is Establishment 999. This is our fictitious firm. It's called Your Firm Inc. And here we have the different addresses that have been authorized under that establishment. And in the purposes of issuing the Form 2017s or the export certificates, these are the different addresses that you can use. In this case, we're going to choose this one because this training video is for the 2017s, we're gonna choose AFES Form 2017. Destination country, for the purposes of today, we're gonna choose our um, neighbors in Mexico. The destination name, this is the address where the shipment is gonna be sent to. So the individuals who are going to send this shipment is going to be shipped to this location. So for the purposes of this training, I'm typing a fictitious name and address. So this is uh, our fictitious address that we're choosing to ship uh, this inventory of veterinary biological products. And here, this is an additional descriptor. We have, over the course of my employment here, we've had a number of establishments who have changed their names or, or are under uh, registration in different countries and under a different name. The additional descriptor is an effort 
to facilitate the use of different names in order for um, facilitating the export into that country. So the assumption is that my current establishment, establishment 999, called Your Firm Inc., used to be my firm in the past. So I'm going to choose formerly known as my firm. You could also say current doing currently doing business as my firm or any other type of information that can further describe your establishment name. The establishment name that is going to be used in the certificate is going to be the one that is being designated for your establishment. And this is the name that has been designated in Los Artes, which is a decision made at the time of the application of the establishment license. So uh, keep in mind um, what is your establishment name used in this particular database in order to facilitate the way that your certificates are made and then return to you. So without further ado, I'm going to choose some products to be used in this uh, database. So in this fictitious um, database, we have created some products. So for this certificate, I'm going to choose this. It's uh, added as avian influenza virus antibody test kit. Currently, we don't have trade names. In uh, added to the certificate. So if you do have the need for us to add any trade names in addition to the true name of the product, uh, please do so in the, as a request. You can also submit paper forms um, using the old-fashioned way. The serial number for this particular product is A two seven zero two. This product um, was released as um, as 100 dose product, and the number of inventory that I'm sending for this particular shipment is 5,000 units. So, if you have a shipment that is going to only be consisted of this particular cereal, then all then you're done adding products. We have multiple firms who submit um, multiple serials in one certificate and you can do that. If we want to do that in this case, um, then we, could co we can click on add product serial and then we can add a second one. I want to choose this particular product. The serial number for this is 98886. We're going to ship 20,000 containers. And then this particular product is a 10 dose product. So for the purposes of this training, I'm going to just end with just two uh, series for a certificate. We have a limit of um, the number of serials that we can add in here. Uh, but you can submit multiple certificates instead of having one certificate with with a lot of serials. So uh, use your space. We have a limited space of how many products we can put in. So this is the miscellaneous information. This is additional submission files. Just browse. And uh, for the purposes of this training, I have a shipment label. For the purposes of this training, I'm going to have one shipping box.
And then in the remarks section, um, you can basically provide, provide us with certain instructions um, that you want, such as um, please add trade names to the certificate. Um, for the particular products that we have here, the even influenza, and for You can, add, you can make that special request for us to do this for you when you submit. Um, I didn't mention it earlier due to the fact that this is not going to be automatically added into the certificate, but here is the available trade names for this particular products. And then these are the trade names that are asset assigned for this particular product. Uh, you may for your screen view, you will have your different trade names that are available for your product. If you don't see them there, and those are in fact uh, trade names that are approved for use here in the United States or uh, on file with the CBB. Um, if you don't find them there, please let us know so we can uh, make a request to make sure that those are in the database. You also have the Administrative Inspection Review, or also known as the AIR where you can also uh, double check your file against the information that we have and then you can make the changes uh, there if you want. Here it's an indication that you have looked over this information and everything is entered. It is true to your knowledge. So the information you double check, everything here looks fine and then you click on save. Okay, so at this point, the information, it's on a quality review status. And it basically means that the submission has been entered, but it has not been submitted to the CBB. You can always look over again at what is the product code, the information that you submitted to us is accurate. Uh, you can see what is the products that, or the form that you attach in this case, the shipping label that I attach is this fictitious um, shipping label that you intend for us to send it back to you. So um, look at the information. Um, in here, um, if there's anything that you see that is not quite up to the information you want, you can click on edit and edit it out. Uh, you can delete it. You can do a clone. A clone basically means that you basically duplicate this information. Um, so you can do a, a, a second copy. Be aware that the certificates that we issue are limited to the uh, total inventory that has been released for the CBB. We cannot issue certificates uh, to 10,000 uh, containers if you only have 5,000 released. So that is the, the message here. So I'm happy with the way this is submitted. So this is uh, entered and ready to submit to the CBB. So click on submit to CBB. And right now the message banner says that you won't be able to edit this information after you send it. So click OK. And now the status of this particular submission is submitted. At this, at this point in real time, 
this submission has been entered into the uh, CVB database and it's going to be um, processed within um, four days or less. So um, this is the common certificate that is used for the shipment of products and the intention of that certificate is for that. And um, right now this is the submission history. The submission has been entered and then was submitted to CVB. And this is the user who submitted that. So, so this is a conclusion of this particular submission. And this is how we do uh, submissions for AFIS Form 2017. Thank you very much.